where it fails. And since we are in options I'm going to show you what else you can do in options. Tools, options firstly. I have measurement units. This part is very important because it depends on where you are and how you work. For example, in the United States of America it tells me that ambient pressure is measured in inches of mercury. It tells me that acceleration is measured in miles per hour per second. It tells me that, for example, fuel pressure is measured in psi. Let's look for a temperature. One temperature is measured in degrees Fahrenheit. This is in America. Now let's look, at least in Europe and it tells me the temperature. Well, fuel pressure is measured in bar it's no longer psi, now it's bar. The temperature, for example, is measured in degrees Celsius it's no longer degrees Fahrenheit. And us Latinos, since we were made as God intended there is a Latin American version. We have fuel pressure in psi. In fact, if you look at the United States, the pressure is also in inches of mercury. Fuel pressure is measured in psi. So in the United States, fuel pressure is measured in psi. Ambient air pressure, inches of mercury. Latinos don't complicate our lives we. Ambient air pressure, psi. Fuel pressure, psi. Oil pressure, psi. Pressure of whatever, psi. C, intake manifold, psi. So we won't complicate our lives by having some in inches of mercury and others in bar. No, none of that. The temperature in the United States is in Fahrenheit and in Europe it was in Celsius. We have the temperature in Celsius. So we have the pressure in psi, like Americans. But we have the temperature in Celsius, like Europeans. We use a little bit of each. How to say it of each ideology, or each measurement system. And we create our own. So right now, this computer is configured for the United States. In our own way. Oh, but I want it for Latin America so we'll change it here. Latin America. And it will tell me, I won't be able to change it because you need to disconnect. And it actually made me look bad because it didn't tell me that. Oh well, if it was connected let's see if it's true. Data monitor, recorder. So we were saying, I connect to the ECM, I see fault codes. And now I connect to the monitor to verify the parameters. So I can say here in parameters at the bottom part. Here I have all the parameters all the sensors. And let's say my car has low power, so I could take, for example, the motor load to see if it is loaded or not. Let's see, it could be, what could it be, what could it be? Let's keep looking to see what we're interested in. Measured current of the fuel pump actuator adapter. Okay, it could be, it could be, it could help me see if the pump is working or not. Let's see, let's see. For more content and free courses, subscribe. Fuel cutoff valve state O, but this is after treatment. This is for the seventh injector. Engine operation state, protection in downshift engine speed support synchronization. I'm not interested in this, I'm not interested in this, I'm not interested in this. I need engine speed, turbo pressure, common rail pressure, injection timing, desired and actual values, those are the things I'm looking for. But I'm looking at the list to see if there's anything that catches my attention and then I'll put it together there, just to have it. But since these are in Spanish they'll be under P, so I'm scrolling down, past the P. There we go, we're going for the I, we'll get there someday. So I'm looking for idle speed variation switch here. The summary, this is for press control. Engine torque mode, engine coolant level, multiplexing, brake switch, fluid tank, heating valve position, percentage of accelerator pedal, I'm interested in knowing if it's not recognizing the accelerator pedal. Let's see what else we have here that could be useful to me. Commanded position of turbocharger actuator, I'm interested in knowing how the VGT is doing.
pump actuator position, to see if it's open or closed. This is an XPI system, do you remember that we saw it in the last class, last week? We are talking about the pump actuator. The valve that allows the fuel to enter the pump or not. I'm interested in barometric pressure, we saw that in the first class, remember that barometric pressure, it will determine the density of the air, among other things, it will help me with the issue of air density. So that the air slash fuel ratio is appropriate. Engine oil pressure, fuel pressure, ah, but this is the seventh injector, crankcase pressure interests me. I'll talk to you now about the crankcase pressure sensor. Intake manifold pressure, this is the turbo pressure, fuel rail pressure, measured, actual, and desired, commanded. Let's also look for it here engine speed. Let's look for V for engine speed. Voltage speed, engine speed, turbocharger speed, there you go. I'm leaving like this. Here I already have my little list with the parameters I want. And I press play so it starts to show me. So, look, I have my pressures in Psi. Oh, well, I didn't put. Let's look for a temperature, so you can see the temperature. Intake manifold air temperature and coolant temperature, there. Here you have it, look, it's in degrees Celsius. So, I have Celsius like the Europeans and Psi like the Americans. The pump, the pump adapter is open, so I have fuel flow to the pump. But I don't have pressure, look, the ordered pressure that the ECM wants is 11k pounds, and the pressure being measured from the rail is 29,093 pounds per square inch. So, the ECM is asking for 11k and the sensor is measuring 29k. I have much more pressure than what's needed. If this were real life. Well, actually, there I would have an excess of pressure. I have much more pressure than the ECM wants. The ECM is asking me to decrease it. It could be that the equipment is releasing the accelerator. It's asking me to decrease the pressure, and it should decrease. This pressure should decrease based on the closing of the fuel control valve. Now it should tell me that it's closed. And here it should show a current consumption because the valve is working. The throttle percentage is at 0%. I could try pressing the accelerator. Oh, it's not showing anything. So it's a throttle issue, not that it has low power, it's just that the throttle is not responding, or I press it all the way and it shows me 50%. Anyway, I can create my list of parameters. In fact, I could come down here and say customized and create my own customized list. I can save it, I've already created it. Here I could say customized and do it, I've already created it. I can say save as a group and group it into a parameter group. And I name it. Well, I choose which ones I want here. And I move them to the right, etc, etc, etc. The thing is, here I click select all first, then I right clicked. I said save as a group and it's already selected, can you see it? Or I could just come here and start looking at them one by one like we were doing just now and I choose and create my group. So, I want exhaust gas temperature. I click add here and it shows up on this side. Exhaust gas temperature, here it is. Or if I want to remove it, I click remove and it takes it away. That's basically it. And the group name is low power course. There we go, low power course. I can create my own customized parameter list. Or I can work with the ones that Insight already has. Which are all the ones we just looked at. If I want to remove this, I can right click and select delete all parameters. And now it's blank. Low power slash fuel economy. I'm going to double click and you can see it already has all the parameters that Cummins considers necessary for low power. The engine load the actuator pump consumption if it's working, power consumption. For example, 
barometric pressure, I need to have intake manifold pressure. Rail pressure, actual pressure, the measurement the sensor is taking the pressure the ECM is requesting. So you can see here I have all the parameters related to low power. My car is not starting, hard starting. So I already have a pre-designed list for what I need. Oh, I have problems with the turbo look at the rail performance and the turbocharger. And it filters out the parameters or sensors, the values that are related to the performance of that component. I have a lot of smoke. Or like I said earlier, I simply create my own customized list, which is what we just did low power course.